In the last video, of course, we talked about using the color replacement tool right here. And of course, we painted a new color over this flower. That is one way to do color replacement in Photoshop, but there is yet another way. Now, what if you didn't want to do all of this painting? Let's say you needed to very quickly change the color of this entire flower, and you just didn't have time to do all of this painting. Maybe you needed to look at several different colors really quickly, and you just didn't have time to paint the whole flower. Well, there is another way to change the color of this flower and again we can do it very very quickly and we can use yet another tool in Photoshop and the tool we're going to use is the quick selection tool right here so go ahead and select that and what I want you to do then is select this flower and you just kind of click and drag around here you may need to sort of mouse over some of the parts it doesn't catch like right here so once you have the flower selected you're going to go up to layer and then you're going to go to new adjustment layer and then you're going to select the hue saturation option and then you're going to go ahead and of course name the layer we'll just call it hue saturation one and you can see we have this black and white remember we talked about masks and you'll remember that everything that is white is revealed and everything that is black is hidden in other words the only color that we're going to replace is our selected flower right here so let's go ahead and change the color here and see how easy that is now you can change the whole color very quickly see that now you might notice that sometimes the entire color of the flower isn't replaced you can see that right here some of these areas if you want the entire color of the flower replaced you want to select colorize so if you select that then the entire color will be replaced throughout the flower so you can go ahead and play around with some of those options now what we're going to do is go ahead and close this out and what we're going to do is go ahead and reselect the flower. So make sure you have the quick selection tool selected again. And we're going to go ahead and select the flower yet again. Now what I want you to do is right click and hit select inverse. Now we have the background selected instead of the flower itself now. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and create another adjustment layer. And we're going to select the same option, hue and saturation. And we're just going to call that hue saturation 2. And now we can go ahead and switch the background. See that? See how interesting that is now? Now we can change the background color quickly too as well. And so you can see how useful it is to use the quick selection tool if you need to change the color of the entire object really quickly. And then what you can do is bounce around between both of these layers. Now make sure that if we go back to this first layer here, make sure that you, instead of having the mask selected, make sure that you have the hue saturation box selected if you want to change the color. Because if you're on this mask, it's not going to have the hue saturation color box. So you just need to make sure what you have selected when you start switching from layer to layer. Now here is where this gets really cool. Let's say you need to compare three or four different versions of this flower, but you want to keep this hue that you've already picked. Well, we can go ahead and just duplicate this layer. So let's go ahead and do that. And we'll call this copy. That's fine. Now we've got an exact copy of this. And now you can go ahead and sort of switch the color. And then what you can do is come down here and switch off the visibility if you want to compare the different colors that you've picked for this flower. So again, using the quick selection tool is very powerful if you want to change the color of an object very quickly. 